Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmark here, and in today's video, I wanted to particularly make a video about uh, one of the future drivers that are coming to the uh, Linux desktop, which is called NVK. You may have heard of it for almost like two years now. It's been in like development roughly, and it's trying to basically solve uh, the issue with the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Now, there's not many issues with the proprietary drivers, but there are certain things like Wayland support that aren't that great right and you might have just weird experiences so this is what uh, these developers are trying to do they're trying to make another open source driver and I wanted to go into details about like what this driver is necessarily how will this like really improve the Linux desktop and when it comes to gaming as well but before this video starts here is a kind word from our sponsor Today's sponsor is Proton VPN, one of the most secure and private VPNs in the world with over 3K servers in 71 countries. Try it out for free to see if you like it with Proton VPN supporting Android, Windows, Mac OS, even Linux, the operating system that I use. Pay 10 bucks a month with 30 day back guaranteed if you don't like it. Also, Proton VPN offers Proton Mail, one of my favorite mailing applications that protects your emails with end to end encryption so no one can read them. Them at all no matter how hard they try if you really want to try what proton vpn has to offer go to the link in the description and sign up today now with that out of the way what is nvk well, NVK is a open source Vulkan based driver. It's in the Mesa stack and I'm pretty sure it is being developed by the Novo developers as well uh, because I've seen the Novo experimental driver and they've been using that with like Mesa and, and you know, the latest kernel 6.8. And basically this driver at the moment, if I switch to my uh, recording screen here, you can see that currently it only supports RTX 20 series and 1600 series and later. So if you're not at Turing or above, you're not going to get support with NVK at the moment. They do have plans though to go all the way back to Kepler. So that's really good. And if you don't know what uh, the, you know, the open source Vulkan driver exactly is, um, you know, when basically when you explain a driver, you have a kernel uh, driver. So like for AMD, for example, is the AMD GPU driver. And then you have a user space driver, which would be Mesa. So NVK will be in Mesa. And so uh, that's just a basic uh, understanding of what this driver will be exactly. So this also does mean that you will get the benefit of using NVK by default on your, let's say you install a new Linux distro or you're moving from Windows and you come over to a Linux distro. The If you have the newest kernel and master installed, then NVK will be enabled by default and you'll be able to just use Linux right out of the gate, similar to AMD and Intel, where you can just straight off, your drivers are already pre-installed for you. And that's where I'm coming into like where, how will NVK improve the Linux desktop experience and gaming experience? Experience. because one of the things is when someone buys a Windows computer like out of the gate they just buy one from let's say over here would just be like Harvey Norman for example you buy a laptop um, that has Windows pre-installed on it it will have the drivers already pre-installed on it same if you bought a desktop it already would have Windows and your drivers would already be pre-installed for you you wouldn't have to go out and like download the latest one necessarily for me when I buy a you know, desktop PC that's pre-built I'm gonna go and grab the newest drivers but for the majority of people uh, the drivers are already pre-installed so they don't really care and that's where I feel like this is a brings an advantage for Nvidia cards so if you're a you know Windows user and you expect drivers to be already installed well with th this particular driver for Nvidia cards it will be pre-installed and then when it comes to just the Linux desktop experience it will be a lot better than the proprietary drivers I know that over the past couple of years Nvidia's had some really just bad slack when it comes to improving uh you know, driver support for things like Wayland or um, it's like implicit sync. That's what a lot of people talk about. I'm pretty sure is the implicit sync. And just overall, when it comes to like game support, they do take quite a while to just improve things. Now, if you do have a good experience with NVIDIA cards with a proprietary driver, that's great. One of the things that I guess won't be included is CUDA stuff. So if you're into like rendering things or doing 3D work, um, that might not be an option on NVK because you won't have access to the proprietary code of like CUDA example and maybe not even DLSS might not be supported on NVK which I know a lot of people like to use when they are using high-end monitors like 1440p 4k they like to use DLSS that might not be included in NVK either but in general when it comes to supporting lots of new things out of 
of the gate, those things will come out pretty quickly because of that open source nature where people can just contribute to the code, whoever that may be, um, submit like merge requests upstream and you know, improve a simple Vulkan extension or maybe a some Wayland protocol that needs to be supported on NVIDIA cards or has an issue. That stuff can get supported a lot more quicker than uh, the NVIDIA developers working on the proprietary drivers themselves. And if we have a look at like the issues that are on the Mesa GitLab page, there is a lot of issues open at the moment for the NV NVK driver. There's probably a lot of Vulkan uh, extensions that need to be included, um, some software rendering uh, only in GSP RM, some uh, Zinc issues with like you know, uh, Valley benchmark shows the wrong color. Uh, what else we got here? You know, like I said, the implementing different uh, Vulkan extensions. And when these Vulkan extensions do get merged, that means that, you know, performance in particular games will improve a lot with translation layers like DXVK and VKD3D. And also like if you're looking for a problem necessarily, this is where you would go. So I'll link this down below if you want to go and look at all the issues that are open for all different types of drivers. So like, um, you know, NVK, uh, we got the uh, IDV, and then we also have ANV, which is Intel's uh, own driver. You can say the same thing about gaming with NVK. It, when it comes to submitting code, it will be a lot more easier to bring in those Vulkan extensions for DXVK and VKD3D translations. Even when it comes to like, you know, for example, with the AMD drivers with um, RADV, that, for example, you know, gets a lot of support and games become basically the Proton developers are able to support games rather more quickly and don't have to really go through as many hoops when it comes to, let's say, with an NVIDIA GPU where they may have to go contact the NVIDIA developers and they may take a very long time. So with NVK, this can bring huge edge to NVIDIA cards. I guess one of the other things that people may worry about is HDMI 2.1. That's something that the AMD cards have been struggling with, uh, with the open source driver variant and where the AMD developers are trying to um, get the HDMI to be approved to use um, HDMI 2.1 on the GPUs, which actually got denied like a week ago, which sucks. But for NVK, the developers said they're very confident in bringing HDMI 2.1. So we'll see how that goes. But like I said, when it comes to desktop experience and gaming experience of using NVK, it's just going to be a lot better. And I would say like a year from now or year and a half from now, I think NVK will be a solid driver that you, you could use for gaming and uh, you know, having a great desktop experience. Now, when will NVK be ready for you? So you can plug in like an RTX 2060, or if you already have a card plugged in, uh, when will you be able to use NVK? Well, basically, um, kernel 6.8 came out recently, which um, enables it by like default and some packages that you'll need as well. And then you'll need Mesa 24.1 to be released, which won't be coming out probably till like, I would say maybe the end of this month. And then Arch will take maybe a week or two to bring that in. So sometime in like April, I'm guessing it will arrive. And that's when you can probably test it out and see, you know, the bugs that are happening. And that's where like example, uh, one of the main developers did post a, a blog post about NVK is now ready for prime time. So they said here that they're proud to announce that NVK, the open source Vulkan driver for NVIDIA hardware and Mesa is now ready for prime time. She just landed a merge request, which gets rid of the non-conformant implementation warnings and changes the Mesa configuration option for NVK from Nova experimental to just Nova, uh, which I did see this in Arch, which it does state outdated. So that will get updated soon on the Arch repositories. This will act as a uh, single uh, to distros that it's now time to start shipping NVK to users. I can't speak on behalf of distros, but NVK will be part of Mesa 24.1 and you should expect to see it in either the spring or fall release of your favorite Linux distro. And they also said like they, they made it to Vulkan 1.3, which means that you can now play DXVK and VKD3D games. Now she did state uh, somewhere around here that like it says here, like DirectX 12 games aren't really ready yet. And that's why I'm saying maybe in like a year or year and a half, uh, gaming might actually be really good where you can just use NVK if you just want to play games and do some browsing and you know do it whatever else on your desktop. I think NVK will just be a perfect driver for you. So yeah, kernel 6.8, Mesa 24.1, you should be able to use it like she said, um, spring or fall. Uh, you should be able to use it in like rolling based distros. So like Arch distros, OpenSUSE, Nobora maybe will include it as well because I know Glorious likes to update Pacific packages more later than what Fedora does. And I think in like Fedora, like 41 or f I think you'll be able to use it by then. Uh, so overall, I think that uh, the NVK drivers will bring a lot of good performance, will improve, let's say, code, for example, when it comes to contributing and merging things 
things upstream a lot more quicker than what the NVIDIA proprietary drivers can do. So if you did enjoy this um, rather short video that I've done for today, I definitely would give it a like. I would definitely sub to the channel if you want to. And of course, thank you to my sponsor, uh, Proton VPN, uh, the best VPN you could probably sign up for. <laughs> and uh, the people who uh, also support me, I'll show a screenshot of those supporters. And that's about done it for this video. Um, I have another couple of videos probably coming out uh, next week sometime, or maybe in just a couple of days, depending on how I'm feeling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.